friends welcome back to the pivot table video series in the earlier videos we have tried and understood uh, creating a pivot table and placing uh, fields into required areas so we have understood also a pivot table gives us ability to convert any amount of data any number of rows or columns into a tiny compact pivot table to analyze the data in few quick steps so I understood how to create a pivot table and uh, it's very easy. So I wanted to create more pivot tables because the view which is I've already created is by employee name and then month and I wanted to have multiple ways of uh, analysis wherein I wanted to see by month and employee name, how much commission by, uh, by month, by employee name and so many other views. So for that purpose, I would be creating more pivot tables. That is one thing. Second thing, with a growing business, my data source is getting changed. More information is coming in as columns are rows. More employees are joined or more month data is actually adding up. So that I need to make sure that my, my pivot table is being refreshed on a day-to-day -day basis so that the data shown in the pivot table is accurate. Before creating uh, additional pivot tables from the same data source or you wanted to modify the pivot table with additional information or whatever information is there to refresh it you must know one important concept called pivot table cache so as i discussed in the beginning videos pivot table is a memory is a temporary memory created in the computer and it is called as uh, a pivot table cache rather pivot cache so the pivot cache is very uh, important uh, concept and we must know it because while creating a pivot table through VBA this concept is useful as well. Now if you wanted to discuss about how to refresh the data here. So this is nothing but a pivot cache and we need to modify the pivot cache because when any change happens in the source data pivot cache will not be refreshed automatically you need to make sure that it is being refreshed there are two ways. One way is basically you have changed the data. You have not changed the range of the data, but you have changed within the data. Some fields have been changed or some cells data has been changed. Then go to uh, pivot table. Keep the cursor on the pivot table. Right click and press refresh. The moment you do, whatever the changes happen in the data will be affected in the pivot cache. And if suppose some additional information been added like XYZ I said uh, like uh, I'm giving the same uh, data and then I wanted to change the pivot table so I'm, I need to make sure that I need to change the range now because the data has been expanded till uh, uh, what you call F20 because earlier it was till only F18 so now I need to go to for that you need to go to once you keep your cursor on pivot table, you'll get one additional uh, tab on the command uh, ribbon called pivot table tools. Under that, you need to press analyze. Under the data section, you have called change data source. You have one refresh, which is a normal refresh. Another is change data source. Just click that, change data source. You need to select the range, a proper range now. Now, current range is F20. So it is B2 to F20. The range is changed, refresh. The data is changed. The pivot cache has been automatically uh, replaced with the new data. Another thing what we have uh, discussed at the beginning of this video is creating more pivot tables from the same data source data. So for that we can just keep the cursor in uh, the data or we can select the data. Insert pivot table. Existing workbook. Keep the cursor. Say OK. So it's very easy. Now I wanted to see a different view that is by month and by employee name and then commission. So my view is ready. So in relation to the pivot cache concept, we need to understand one important thing here. Once you have created one pivot table, some kind of memory has been stored in the computer. And when you created another pivot table, the same amount of memory has been added to the computer. So the more pivot tables you are created, separate pivot, new pivot tables are created from the source data, that, mem that much memory is being stored in the computer. That means the size of the file is increasing. 
So that is the side effect of creating additional pivot tables within the Excel workbook. I mean, from the same uh, same data source, you are creating more pivot tables. Obviously, you are bloating the uh, workbook with more size. So now we have uh, covered the main two concepts, which is wanted to create more pivot tables. Yes, we have seen that. And if changes happen to the source data, how to affect the changes in pivot table, we have also covered that. And also in addition to that, we have uh, discussed about the pivot cache, how it will be built in the Excel when you add a new pivot table by creating it. And then how the consequences, basically the size of the file will be increasing. So we have a solution for that, that is nothing but sharing the pivot cache. So I'm just removing this pivot table because it has been created, but I wanted to just make sure that I want to share the pivot cache, but not create additional pivot cache. For that, what I need to do is go to the pivot table, make sure that you have selected the entire pivot table. Copy and then paste in a different location. And you must be sure that you are selecting entire pivot table. Otherwise, only text will be the text will be copied and pasted, but not the pivot table. So the pivot table is ready. Now I can change the view that is employee name, month and employee name. Instead of salary, I put commission. So my additional view is ready. It's very good to see that how we are making sure that uh, the size of file is not increasing by using sharing the pivot cache. Uh, and accordingly creating additional pivot tables for different views. But we have few challenges. For me, those are not challenges, but few may feel that. What are they? One, refreshing the data. I cannot refresh a single pivot table in this case. What happens? I want to refresh only this, but not this table but I cannot do that. When I create my pivot tables by sharing the pivot cache, if one pivot table has been refreshed, all the pivot tables using the same pivot cache will be refreshed automatically. Second thing, if I add any calculated field or item, that also will be added to all the pivot tables. And suppose if I do a grouping of the uh, different fields, that also will be automatically done in other pivot tables. So this calculated fields and grouping, all those items we are discussing in coming videos, so don't worry about it. But these are the challenges. So you want to do any change to the single pivot is not possible. Any change will happen uh, to the other pivot tables as well. Change means not the layout, but the refresh. Basically the refresh, any kind of refresh or any additional items you are adding it, those impacts will be applicable to all other pivot tables created by using single pivot cache that is sharing the single pivot cache. Hope you understood the concept of uh, pivot cache and uh, we are actually discussing more important and uh, advanced features from the next video onwards. Uh, kind of uh, slicers and further modifications how to format a pivot table, how to create pivot table charts etc. Please keep watching and please uh, like and share and any questions don't forget to ask. Thank you.